Okay, well, I've now got the um, camera set up on the TV um, directly, and I'm not sure how this is going to show up. It's a little bit tricky with the whole lighting situation, uh, you know, having a little bit of ambient light, but also having it dark enough so you can see the screen or whatever. Of course, I've got nothing turned on at the moment, and one of the things I actually wanted to perhaps point out, one of the first things is that um, it actually, I realised after I got my media uh, centre uh, set up on the Xbox that I couldn't actually remotely turn on the Xbox. It's something I hadn't thought about before, but the Xbox is by default, so the original Xbox doesn't have a remote control capability uh, to actually turn it on. You have to actually get up and walk over and turn the thing on. Now, I guess we can say maybe it's a little bit lazy that I don't do that, but I think most of us, when we want to start watching things, we just like to have our remote control and switch on the sound, switch on the TV, switch on the various sources of material, and not have to sort of get up and down, back and forth, switching things on and off. So one of the first things I actually did was went out and bought a um, uh, a additional a little modification. I ordered it off eBay, which is a remote control option for the Xbox, which uh, actually now allows me to turn it on um, remotely. And in fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn on the uh, TV set. Um, so I think by default it's probably going to start off on one of the uh, set-top box sort of high-def channels. And in fact, I will just mute it so I can uh, be overheard talking about it and uh, I don't know if you can sort of see here it's a little bit bit of reflection there but this is this is actually a remote that I use which is actually a Philips Pronto it's actually a touchscreen LCD it probably doesn't uh, do too well with the backlight of the uh, TV there but um, if I turn it back on um, basically I have a setting here which is just one of the buttons in the uh, where I'm pointing my little finger at down here which is for the media uh, uh, which well, what I label as media which is the Xbox Media Center edition so in fact what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn that on and we'll just see how we go so I've just started it up now uh, from the remote control. You can see it's saying Executor 2 Config Live Loading. That is the actual modification chip that's been put on the Xbox. And it now starts up with a little Xbox logo, um, which is the standard. But what you'll see now is it cuts straight into the Xbox Media Center. That logo and this whole screen is now the Media Center interface. And this is really what I'm using the Xbox for. I don't really do a lot of games with it, or you can actually launch straight into a game from this interface, um, but predominantly I'm using it for media. But I suppose I might quickly show you the, um, the uh, games interface, or just show you how you can actually get into them. In fact, one of the things you'll notice before I even do that is scrolling down the bottom of the screen, although probably you won't be able to see a lot of detail here because this is a fairly small size video. But there's a little scrolling, a little scrolling tagline that's going down the bottom there, which is actually an RSS feed, and you can actually set this up with uh, an RSS uh, news feed or any sort of informational feed. And I, I just happen to have this set to play um, uh, ABC local Australian ABC news headlines. So it basically has this little scrolling ticker going along the bottom from uh, right to left, just. Uh, Playing the latest deadlines, and you could basically have any sort of um, any sort of RSS information feed could be actually uh, displayed on there. You also notice now, because I've been waffling on a little bit too long, that it's actually gone into a screensaver mode. So this is just one of the things that um, uh, there is actually a few different screensaver settings you can choose. I just happen to like this little old 1970s kind of classic asteroid screensaver. It just means that if you uh, walk away from your media center box for too long, um, it uh, just avoids any potential risk of uh, burn-in uh, on your screen. I don't think it's such a problem these days with the latest uh, generations of plasmas and LCDs, but uh, it's probably just a nice little feature to have it there. Just pressing the um, the enter button on my remote basically uh, allows the uh, the screensaver to go away and takes me back to the uh, to the uh, original screen here. I'm just going to go into the programs. So the very first one I've got highlighted on the menu there is uh, My Programs. And you can actually see all these little uh, thumbnail icons. They're effectively the games. These games have actually been stored onto the local hard drive, the uh, extra hard drive that I put in. I think the original Xbox came comes with a very small, maybe a, an 8 gigabyte hard drive or something like that. So I ended up putting a 200 gig hard drive on here. So if I needed to, uh, as in the cases here, I've been able to um, store a number of uh, my games on here. I don't play them that often, but you can actually launch straight into a game basically from this interface here. Um, let's go back to the main menu here.